In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take several images, whether they're PNG files uh, with a cut line or JPEGs that you've traced to get a cut line, text, shadow layers, anything with a cut line, and arrange them in some sort of design and then uh, get a trace line just around the outside so nothing on the inside uh, traces or actually cuts, sorry. Um, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if any of you are in the group that this lady is in, you'll recognize this image here. Um, she was having a little bit of trouble with it, so I had her send it to me, and she said I could use it for this video to help all of you. So, thank you. Anyway, all right, so she's designed this, and as you can see, I have a cut line for the dog. I have a cut line for, I'm not sure if that's a cat, I think it is. Uh, I have cut lines for um, grandma, and you probably can't see it, but there's actually an offset around it. Well, you can see it, you know, over that pink. Um, and then this is separate, and all these paws are separate, but she does have the paws grouped. So let me go ahead and put all of that back by using Control Z, okay? And then come to my layers panel. All right, in my layers panel, I see the paws are here and they're in a group. So if I click on this arrow to close that group, and then I can shut that off because none of them are overlapping anything else. If I check my cut window, I can see that they are not touching anything else, so I can turn them off. I don't need to see those. All right, so I'll zoom in a little bit more. And then what I need to do is, let's look at this. First, um, I can see what all is going to cut, okay? This is actually the offset for the word grandma, but patrol is going to cut, and I don't want that to cut, so... I need to find it here in my layers panel, and I need to change that. If you look at it, it's red, right? It shows the cut line, it's red. So if I change it in my style panel to print, print plus cut print, then if I check my um, preview, it's not there because it's going to print. So if I click on this uh, show print or printable, then you can see it. Okay, and as well as the word grandma. Okay, so let me uncheck that. Okay, so then I'm going to come back to my layers panel and look at all my layers. What I need to find is any text that I want to cut, um, shadow layers, or uh, the cut layers. So I'm going to select them. Here's a shadow layer. Hold shift and go through and check or click on all of the cut layers. Be sure not to get anything that is print or um, anything other than cut layers and shadow layers and text, if you want text to cut. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is come over to the style panel and you have a weld box here that you can check. This is temporary. It's not permanent. You can come back and uncheck it later and all your cut lines will be back. So if we look at this now, we can see how it's going to cut and it's going to cut into everything and you don't want it like that. So if I click weld and then I come back and I look, you can see that it's still there it's gray but it's not red so that means it's not going to cut it's a temporary weld okay and that's all you all there is to it now it's going to cut around here and around the, the paw you know um for print plus cut that's exactly how i want it to be so then um i can come back and turn my paws back on and i can print and cut this project. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or you can find me in um, the two groups that I have listed in the description of the video. Thanks for watching.